Hello everyone, this is Thoughtful Salt, and this is Demo Man, a series that looks at the indie games on the Xbox Live Arcade. What are we taking a look at today? Well, we're taking a look at a shoot 'em up that has got a bit of a. Oh, where have I heard this music before? Oh, wait, Sector 749er. I think I've heard this in Ascent of Kings, or something like it. Ah, stock music. Kevin McLeod, I'm sorry, man. On behalf of composers everywhere, fuck off. It gets tiring hearing your music in every indie game. These guys just don't give up. What the hell is this? What? No! All right. So what's this game about? Well, basically this. This is the most visually basic game I've ever played. I mean, let's take a look at the ladies in the opening credits. Oh my god, those are astonishingly awful. What the hell? Who drew these? Anyways, the gameplay here is like... Okay. It's basically... You control, you shoot with the right analog stick. And that's it. I'm just twirling it around so it could become a cyclone of death. Whoa! Now, let's get back to bashing Kevin McCloud. Kevin McCloud, yes, you. I don't particularly like any of your music. That's a subjective thing. A lot of people do like your music. Problem is, everyone uses your music, and it's a bit of fatigue. If everyone uses your music, what the hell is there? There's no variety. You eventually just become tired of hearing the same style. The same tracks over and over again. When will it ever end? It's gotten to the point where I immediately just write off a game's soundtrack if I find it's using Kevin McLeod's music. Even if the song itself actually is decent, I can't abide using stock music. Especially when there's so many composers out there looking to get their foot in the door. And you say, no, I'll save. I'll save some money. I'll pay. I'll pay 10 or 15 dollars for this track. There are lots of composers out there looking to get their foot in the door that will ask for that price. Whatever this Kevin McCloud is asking you to pay him, people will work for that. Just gotta let them. So Kevin McCloud, I'm sorry man. We're starting to get a negative view of you. I don't care if everyone buys your music. I personally don't. It's just your music has become boring. It almost ruins a game whenever I hear the same tracks over and over and over again. Now, as for this game, well, I guess Space Fixins is eclectic, I guess. I mean, look at this. I'm fighting the Space Invader aliens, for God's sakes. And I just can't get past that music because, yeah, other composers are looking for work and you're saying, well, I don't know, I'll compose the track and people will pay me money for it and everyone will be using my music, so I'll make lots of money. No, man. No. I just can't abide by that. I'm not even plugging for myself. I'm a composer too, but other composers out there, they're like, not even be given a chance because, oh, I'll just use some stock music. I don't need a composer. They'll charge a million dollars for the rights to their music. No! No, they won't! Oh, ah. It's an astonishingly simple-minded view that we charge so much money just to make music. Kevin McLeod, I'm just going to tell you straight out, any game that uses your music, I have to take points off for that. Because you're not composing for the game, you're composing for yourself. And that exposes these games as just soulless. And it's all because of your music being used, or any stock music, really. This track isn't even that good. Lock and load. All right, I can hand it one thing. Its controls are actually kind of okay. I mean, there's this game is simplistic as hell. I mean, you're shooting brain-dead swarms of enemy ships, and there's a small selection of power-ups. Will it ever But the art design is just fantastically ugly and derivative. The music is stock, so you know my views on that by now. But the controls are good, and you can play this in four-player co-op, too, so I don't know. I guess for a dollar, 
this won't be too much of a sacrifice playing this game, but there's not too much depth to this experience besides the randomness of what enemies you're fighting. So I don't think I can recommend this game. Its gameplay is, it's alright, but in the end, are you wanting to waste your precious time on a game that's basically alright and not great? I mean, I've said it before and I'll say it again, go play SDGT, go play Uncraft Me, go play Bleed, heck, even Ascent of Kings, I didn't like that game, but that's a better game than this, because it's attempting something, okay? This is just mindlessly dull. I mean, the voice actress, I guess, British, everyone likes British accents, right? You're into that sort of thing? Alright, well then this game is for you if you like British accents. On women. As for the rest of us, I can safely say this game this isn't worth any time. This has been a look at Space Vixens, available on Xbox Live in the arcade. This has been Thoughtful Salt, and I'll see you next time.